Good morning. So today we're going to take a drive. We're just going to go up in the woods. Haven't decided uh, which way yet. But it's pretty cold out, so we're not taking the Jeep because we don't want to freeze to death. So we're going to take old Merle and these guys because you can't leave without them. So anyway, we'll take you along, show you some of the woods here, and uh, see where we end up going. We haven't quite decided exactly where we're going to go, but we're going to go. So anyway, we'll take you along with us. I'll show you under the hood a uh, old Merle here. So this is the original 460 engine. Uh, I put dual batteries in it for the winch. So it's got dual batteries and uh, that helps with the winching quite a bit. Keeps a lot of power there. I've had to pick up before with a single battery in a winch and uh, smoked my alternator up in the woods trying to winch out and was really stuck then because the truck wouldn't run. So, uh, to cure that on this one, I put dual batteries in it. And, uh, to, like I say, it's the original 460 engine. It has been rebuilt by the previous owner. And I've, nobody's real sure of the mileage on it. Uh, the previous owner wasn't around. So, anyway, still runs good. Uh, it's pretty dirty. I haven't washed the engine off in a while. But still runs pretty good. And... Uh, it's got a 600 CFN Edelbrock carburetor on it that I put on there after the uh, Holly decided to leak and catch the motor on fire. That was a fun day. So we put that on there. It's not enough for towing. It's not enough fuel for towing. But I don't tow with this pickup a lot. It's more of a run to the dump, run up in the woods, uh, take the dogs for a ride type of pickup. Uh, we do four wheel with it in the winter time and I've got a 12,000 pound winch on the front and uh, got to finish that bumper at some point it's not quite done yet but anyway one of those rolling projects but yeah that's the, the workings of the old Ford and then it's got a four speed manual transmission so it actually has a shifter between the seats like a pickup should Yeah, so we're up here uh, in the Ochoco Mountains. Got a really cool spot here. The rocks are, it's like shale rock. And uh, interesting layers that have slid off the hill here. You can see the layers up there where the rock is basically shale. So it's flat and uh, yeah there's just tons of layers up there like a sandstone type layer but yeah kind of kind of a neat little spot interesting how it's formed over the years you can see that it's all loose under there and it slid down the hill. Pick up down there. Well, Jake. Come on, Jake. Very cool spot out here. Tons of country to go explore. Come on, Jake.
Look what I found out in the woods. Wild girls. <laughs> the whole flock of them. Oh, that's cool, all that moss. I know. Don't think about us, we'll climb. Yeah. We will climb. Make a couple of mountain goats. <laughs> mountain girls. Do something epic. Do a flip. Do a flip. Do a flip. <laughs> no, I'll die. Come on. Yeah, this is cool. Jake, you never made it. We do truly live in a beautiful area. Fun to share with beautiful girls. Oh my God. So mossy and so pretty. Did you get some? Yeah. Let me Dad see. broke off a bit for me. Go down. Get over here. Thank you. Hey. Just got sideswiped by a bee. <laughs> Look, at, it's like agate. Ooh. Type of like quartz or something. Agate. Cool. That's really cool. It's growing inside the rock. Nice. Yeah, it's like a sandstone-ish. It is. Limestone. Lime disease. Volcanic. Go into there and let's see if we can break it. Okay. Whilst you're there. Okay. Wicked. When that, you know those the little bits of like concrete that are covered in moss? Mm -hmm. And I picked one and it had a bunch of earwigs under it. And I never picked up moss again from there. <laughs> scared me so bad. So earwigs are gross. They're so nasty. Why did God create them? They don't do anything. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. Well, I'm doing it anyway, aren't I? It's pretty neat. It is. It is. Big wire. Mm. Let's see if I can get the wire. Come on, Dookie. Mm. I got a big piece of it. Nice. Magic. I'm gonna see. I don't know. Now's when I need to see the big cougar tree. I don't know what that is. I I need to look that up when I get home. Ooh, that's so cool. Duke, is there big putty cats in this area? It's not as smooth as the ones up there. Huh. That's really cool though. Ta ta putty tat. How cute stuff. <laughs> that one right there, Ricky. Just look at it. Yeah. Yeah. I got this one too. <laughs> you big oaf. Just a little bit. You're a big oaf. like a carpet that's been wet left outside <laughs> all right so here's old Merle in the woods proof that we actually use it 
typical Duke sitting on the toolbox. Little Jake, he likes his spot down here. <laughs> right, Jake? Got you a good spot? Oh, yeah. Silly old dog. Yep. This is what we use this pickup for mostly. Cruising around in the woods. We do, uh, we like to hunt out of it too if it's real cold. It's nice because it's got a heater. Not like the Jeep. But yeah. That's why we haven't spent a bunch of money on making it pretty because we do like to use it. So, not worried about taking it off road to pull an elk out or get a load of firewood or whatever. At some point I am going to paint it, but it's not going to be a super high dollar paint job. It's something I'm not afraid to scratch. And it'll get that flatbed on it and be even more useful. Finish the winch bumper up so the brush guards all the way around the headlights. And uh, yep, just be a good useful pickup. So this is kind of what makes this pickup pretty cool. Those hubs are not locked in. They're still on free. We just came up this hill. Camera doesn't show how steep that is, but it's uh, wet. So we just came up this. You can see where I spun with the back axle just a little bit right there. So we backed up and moved over just a little and uh, walked out of there in two-wheel drive. So it's pretty steep, like it's hard to walk down. But <clears throat> this pickup has a factory limited slipper end in it and gets around really good. So we're going to kick this, kind of make it look like we were never here, just because. I don't like tearing up the woods. These are my woods I grew up in. and. When we four wheel, we go pretty easy. We try not to tear it up, try not to leave tracks. Um, you know, I mean, there's tire tracks, but we try not to leave ruts and stuff. So anyway, let's, uh, this pickup gets around pretty dang good. It's, uh, it's a mountain goat. Got that limited slip in the rear end and it has uh, the independent front suspension in it. So, she gets around pretty good. The hubs aren't locked in, it walked right up it. So the story behind Merle here is uh, my mother-in-law actually told me about this pickup. And uh, she called me one day and, and said this pickup was for sale. A uh, relative had it and was selling it for a friend of his. And she told me all about it and uh, at first I was like, I was a little suspicious of it 
because she said it was a crew cab, four wheel drive, 85 Ford pickup. And I was thinking, ah, eh, it's probably an extended cab, which I didn't want. And uh, so anyway, I went and looked at it and sure enough, crew cab, four wheel drive. And uh, I ended up picking it up for 1100 bucks and running, driving. And it's, you know, like I say, it's, it doesn't look like much, it needs painted and uh, everything, but it was a good in good shape. It has no rust in it at all. Uh, the guy that owned it before I bought it was the original owner. So I'm the second owner of this pickup and it is an 85 F350 Ford pickup, four wheel drive. And uh, no, it's it's been a good truck. We've had it for probably about eight years-ish. And uh, yeah, it's been a dang good pickup. We've taken it all sorts of places, so. So uh, got to give the credit to my mother-in-law who is the one who who ended up finding this truck for us. I don't know if the camera sees this, but there's deer right there. Oh, there is a buck right there. <laughs> Second one back has horns. Just a little forky. Yep, see? It's a forking horn. Forking horn buck. Nice, Nigel. So the reason we locked the hubs in was because this is really steep. This pickup's pointed downhill pretty good. I mean, it's it's hard to actually back up the hill. Pretty steep here, so I locked the hubs in just so we wouldn't spin pulling that tree. And we're in four low, so we can do some wheeling now. Uh, hubs are locked in, four low. Obviously the winch works really good. And uh, chainsaw is pretty handy, and I've got all sorts of ropes and recovery gear, and. All that stuff so we can keep on heading down this uh, little skid trail.
So we came to a spot down this road where we ended up basically right across from the main road. However, we'd have to cross this creek. And somebody's gone to great lengths, probably the Forest Service, to keep people from driving across here. So we don't want to disturb this, what they've done, um, or get hung up here, <laughs> get stuck and end up trying to winch out or whatever right here by the main road not a good spot so anyway we're just going to go back up the way we came and go around so that we don't uh, make tracks through here so that other people end up following and end up making a road through this creek so this is just part of trying to be a steward of our uh, public lands try not to destroy anything the road we came down came from the top it wasn't blocked or closed up there so we're just going to turn around and go back up that way. Um, the only thing we took out of the way was what you saw was that tree that we chainsawed. And it was a wind, a wind blown tree that was knocked down by the wind. The roots and everything were still on it. So they didn't fall that just to keep us out of here. So anyway, um, we'll do the right thing. We'll just turn around and go back up the other way. And I know where this comes out. It comes out on a different gravel road up, up above there. And, uh, We'll just make sure we just leave it like we found it so that the Forest Service or uh, people don't get mad at us here for leaving root, uh, ruts across here or dragging bottom or pulling rocks out or running over trees. We'd have to either go over that log right there or winch it out of the way to get through there. And it's it's a lot deeper than it looks. I'd probably risk tearing the, the steps off the pickup going through there. If I had my little Jeep, it would actually walk right through that little spot. That little Jeep is its pretty small. It would go right through there with no problem. Wouldn't even leave a trace. But the pickup's pretty big, so we're just going to do the right thing, turn around and go back. And uh, this is the road, the main road across the way here is actually a paved road that leads back into town. That's kind of the way we came up, so that's the way we need to get out. But we're going to go back up around and, and come out the right way. Oh yeah, it's pointing at this guy. That's better.
Now we're back on the main road headed out of the woods. <laughs> so those deer, yeah look, they're sparring. There's a couple bucks out there locking horns. Yeah, so it's the next day. Uh, we ran out of battery there last night on the way home. So uh, anyway, we made it home. Uh, we'll pick up, she made her home, did a good job for us there yesterday. And uh, we really like going up in the woods and, and running around, seeing scenery, animals and uh, all that. So uh, we also like to do a little four wheeling, but we're, we try to be pretty careful about what we do while we're four wheeling so we don't hurt the ground or tear up the environment up there so uh, we always pick up everything uh, we see if we see cans on the side of the road or something we'll stop and grab them just to kind of keep the forest clean and uh, we don't want to give them any reason to shut it down or shut us out so anyhow uh, <clears throat> that's it for that video and uh, thanks again for watching please remember to like and subscribe we like making this content we appreciate you watching it uh, it's fun sharing our our experiences and uh, our area with you guys. We, we enjoy it. So uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. <laughs>